Hey everyone, I thought I'd make a quick video uh, in case anyone's still struggling with the book homework that's due tomorrow, uh, solving special right triangles, given a couple pieces of information based off the proportions we talked about in class the other day that all the, that these two special right triangles always have. And we're always working off a generic picture of a right triangle like that. We call the right angle C, and so the side across from it we'll call little c. Uh, we can pick uh, we can call the other um, one of the two acute angles A and the other one B and it doesn't matter as long as we're consistent with how we do it. Aside from big A, the angle is little a the side. Across from big A, the big B, the angle is little b the side. So for this problem here, uh, we're given that uh, if we call this A and that B and this C, we're, we know that um, the side across from angle B, which is over here, is 15. And we're told that angle A, which is this angle right here, is 30 degrees. If this is 30, this has to be the complement at 60, because the 3 have to add to 180, and 90 is taken up by the right angle. So at least 90 to split between these two, so they're complementary. Um, and, uh, all right. So, uh, we know that this is 15. If, we, if this was the side opposite 30, if this were 15 over here, then we'd know that's 30 because the hypotenuse is always twice the short leg, twice the side opposite 30. Um, and it looks kind of like this is shorter in this drawing here, but since I've drawn the 60 degree angle here, then this has to be the short leg, even though it doesn't look like the short leg. Uh, all right, so what we do is we go and we look at our special right triangle ratios, which look like this and we see that the side opposite 60 has the ratio is, is uh, one square to three over two times the hypotenuse so if we go back to um, here uh, we know that if we call this side X this is the side opposite 60 we know if we take X and divide it by the hypotenuse right there we get square root of three over two uh, that's always the case when we divide the long leg by the um, hypotenuse on a special, on a 30-60-90 right triangle. So if you take this square root of 3 over 2 and divide it by that 1 half, I mean divide it by that hypotenuse there, you get root 3 over 2 times h divided by h, which is just square root of 3 over 2. So that's always going to be the case whenever you take a long leg and divide it by a hypotenuse. And we know that this x is 15 here. So um, we can just write it like that. And then we only don't, the only thing we don't know is the hypotenuse. So we cross multiply, that's 30. And this way is square root of three times h. Divide through by the square root of three. You get 30 over the square root of three is h. Then we have to rationalize this guy. So we'll multiply the top and the bottom by root three. You get root, you get 30 root three over three, and that goes out gives you 10 root 3. So this side would be 10 root 3. And now we can use the fact that the side opposite 30 is always half the hypotenuse. So this would be 5 root 3, because half of 10 root 3 is 5 root 3. And this second one here, we're not given any angles, just side lengths. So uh, if let's call this A this time, and this B, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. That C, that would be little c, that would be little b, that would be little a. And we're told that A is 6 and B is 6 root 3. So if you take one leg and divide it by the other leg, you get root 3. And if you go back to your special right triangles and see, well, where does that, where does that happen? Uh, where do we get a ratio of root 3 when we divide two of these side lengths together? And clearly, if you take this root 3 over 2 times h and divide it by 1 half h, you're going to get root 3, right? So if I go, if I take square root of 3 over 2 h generically over half h, that goes out and that goes out, and it's a root 3. So that means this must be, this must be the long leg across from 60, on a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and this must be the short leg across from 30. So that has to be 30, and this has to be 60. And so now I know that uh, 
this has to be the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So it's twice the short leg. Since the short leg is 6, this guy is 12. So now we have all three angles and all three side lengths.